Good morning everyone, look where we are today. We're at a very festive Richmond on Thames. And here we are outside Richmond Station and it's full Art Deco splendour. So this is Richmond Station, which was rebuilt by the Southern Railway in 1937. So this is Richmond Station where the London Underground District Line terminates along with the London Overground and National Rail Services. Now what we're going to do, we're going to have a little walk around Richmond Town Centre. So what we're going to do is we're heading south along this main road here called The Quadrant. So this is a quadrant, so we're going to cross over. Cross over the main road here at the crossing. And then we're going to do a left turn into Richmond itself. Now, excuse the low sunlight, but this is the middle of December. So we're heading down the quadrant. So this is coming into Richmond town centre. So what I can do is offer you a better view of Richmond station over there in its 1930s Art Deco splendour. Passing the bus stop for the H37 and the 65. Yeah, does. So now we're heading down the bridge into the quadrants. As you can see, it's middle of December. Well, early December, but the sun's quite low in the sky. I'm just going to pause the video for a brief minute. Right, here we are, back online again. So here's the Railway Tavern Pub. Superb old building there from 1888. So that view is looking north towards Kew. So if you keep walking that way, that takes you towards Kew Gardens and Brentford, etc. So that's the Railway Tavern there, in all its superb majesty. So we're heading into Richmond Town Centre right now. So what we'll do, we'll go down this quiet little alleyway. This lovely peaceful passageway. Not the most glamorous of places, but you'll see in a minute when we come out of this other side of this passageway, you'll see the green. So we've got this tiny little passageway which connects the town centre with Richmond Green, which we'll be coming to in a short while. So here we are, this is Richmond Green, one of my all-time favourite places in Richmond. And over here we have Richmond Theatre, which was built in 1911 by Frank Matcham. So that's Richmond Theatre there, a place where I've been to many times, an absolutely beautiful theatre where I've seen many productions over the years. And this is Richmond Green itself. One of my absolute all-time favourite spots in Richmond. This is the place to be seen. If you're ever in Richmond, Richmond Green is the place to be seen. So do excuse the sun. So over here we've got, as you can see, there's Richmond Theatre. Showing Goldilocks and the Three Bears, which is the pantomime this year at Richmond Theatre. And the famous twin couplers of Frank Matcham's architecture there from way back in 1911 when this theatre was built. Absolutely beautiful structure. So we're going to have a little walk around Richmond Green now. There's a few pigeons, there's some trees and there's a couple of bins. These old wooden benches which have been put in since the 1970s still doing their job. So what we're doing now, we're walking southwestwards along Richmond Green. 
Now we're coming to the main part of Richmond Green in a minute, once we cross this road. There's a very old traffic control box here from the Edwardian era. I don't know what's inside it now, but it's amazing that's still there. So what we do, we cross over Duke Street. That's Duke Street over there, so that takes you into Richmond Town Centre. Now this is the main part of Richmond Green itself. Now this is my all-time favourite spot in Richmond. There you go. Richmond Green. <laughs> and as you can see, it's a beautiful spot with all these trees. And at the moment, obviously as it's winter, you've got all the leaves all on the ground there. But in the spring and in the summer, it's a great place to be. I absolutely love this spot. It's a place where kids play football, families exercise their children. It's a place where people walk their dogs. Oh, it's a beautiful place. I absolutely love this spot in Richmond. So that's looking sort of southwestwards to the west. So we're looking sort of south. And along here, we've got the Maids of Honour Row, which are these beautiful Georgian buildings dating from the 1700s and early 1800s. Top of their cattle grass. So we're walking along the eastern side of Richmond Green, passing these beautiful buildings called the Maids of Honour Row. And then further at the bottom end of the green, which we'll be coming to in a couple of minutes, we'll be passing the famous Cricketers Pub where I had my big 30th birthday party back in May 2005. And that was a superb evening. We'll come to that in a minute. So this is a sort of uh, southeastern corner of Richmond Green. And how about that for a picture? Absolutely beautiful spot. There's even a cricket pitch in the middle where those barriers are. Do excuse the noise. So now we're coming to the southeastern corner of Richmond Green. So there's the famous Cricketers pub. So that was where I had my big 30th birthday party back in May 2005 in the upstairs function room. That first floor windows there. And then next door You've got another pub, which is the Prince's Head, which is a Fuller's pub. So here you've got the Cricketers and its beautiful architecture. So on that first floor window, that's the function room where I had my 30th birthday back in May 2005. And we raised money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation UK. And £250 was actually raised on that evening. So we're going to cross over. We've got another pub here, which is the Prince's Head. And then further up round the corner, you've got Paved Court, which is this beautiful little passageway here. And you've got this Golden Court, which is this passageway here. With these little passages reminiscent of the days of Charles Dickens. So that's looking east into George Street in Richmond. And also on this corner we've got a couple of the old GPO K6 telephone boxes. Still doing the job they were designed and built to do back in the 30s. So this is the southeast corner of Richmond Green. And there's the Cricketers pub just here in the centre of the screen. And there's a pair of telephone boxes here on the corner. And it just looks so wonderful. It's one of my absolute favourite spots in Richmond. Now what we're going to do, we're at the bottom end of the green. So we're going to walk all the way down towards the riverside. Which is another one of my all-time favourite spots in Richmond. There's the rest of the Maids of Honour Road, these beautiful old buildings along here. So we're going to walk over to the riverside. 
which is the other most iconic part of Richmond alongside the green and the town centre. Now in order to get from Richmond Green to the riverside we go down Friars Lane which is this junction here. There's another old electrical substation box there from the Edwardian era. So that's the green there, so that view is looking sort of north northwestwards, and that view there is looking northeastwards. So that's Richmond Green in all its scenic beauty, it's such a beautiful spot and I absolutely love this space. Especially in the spring when all the trees are in bud and the new world bursts back into life after the bleakness and cold of winter. It's just the best place in Richmond. So we're going to be walking down Friars Lane. Before we do that, I'll just show you this manhole cover. And as you can hear, you've got the drain underneath there. So there's actually a live sewer that's deep down there. So it's a deep shaft down this sewer. So there's a continuous flow of water through that manhole cover there. That manhole cover has been there since the Edwardian era. It's actually got the manufacturer's name. Frederick Bird and Company, 11 Great Castle Street, Regent Street, London. So that would have been the address of the office, not the foundry, where the manhole covers were made. So now what we do, we're walking down Friars Lane. And as well as going to the riverside, this also leads to another icon of Richmond that has been lost in the midst of time but part of it still remains because we're actually walking alongside what was the eastern end of Richmond Palace. Now Richmond Palace was one of the royal palaces which was dissolved by King Henry VIII in his time of diluting all the monasteries and palaces and whatnot. So Richmond Palace, most of it doesn't exist, but there is still a little part that still exists, which I'll be taking you right now. And also there was a monastery on this site, hence the name Friars Lane, which is where we are. So Richmond Palace was one of the palaces which was dissoluted by King Henry VIII during his reign in the 1500s, but interesting thing is part of the monument part of the palace still exists in the form of this lovely little tower here so where these blocks of flats are this was originally Richmond Palace so we've got this little tower here which is one of the only few remainders of the palace and through there is where the palace originally would have stood through these beautiful old gates with all those trees Here's a closer view of the little tower, which is one of the only few remaining parts of the palace that still survives. Now what we're doing, we're going to walk straight towards the river. So we go down this way. Every time I'm in Richmond and I go towards the river, I always go this way. And as you can see, the river is straight in front of us. So this is actually the River Thames, which is the same river that flows through the likes of Tower Bridge and the House of Parliament. So now, here's another, another fantastic old manhole cover here. That's a superb example of a manhole cover. So now we're on the riverside in Richmond. Yee -hee -hee. Lovely jubbly. Now, this view is looking sort of northwestward, so that bridge over there, that's Twickenham Railway Bridge. And then the bridge behind, that's Twickenham Bridge itself, which is where the traffic's going across. Now, Twickenham Bridge is one of only two bridges in the whole of London area, which is not served by a bus route. So we've got Twickenham Bridge and Albert Bridge. They're the only two river bridges in the Greater London area that aren't served by a bus route. And the gold, the sort of cream cover, coloured bridge, that's the, that's Twickenham Railway Bridge. So that carries the main line from Waterloo and Clapham Junction out to Reading and Windsor. 
So now we're walking alongside the beautiful, beautiful Richmond Riverside, which is an absolutely gorgeous place. I absolutely adore this place. Now straight ahead is Richmond Bridge, which is London's oldest river bridge, which we'll be seeing in the next five minutes or so. That was built back in 1770. And up until 1965, it was actually the original boundary between Surrey on the left-hand side and Middlesex on the right-hand side. Now here we are, we've got the famous White Cross pub, which is one of the famous icons of the Richmond Riverside. Good old White Cross pub, which is a place that I've been into many a time. So there's the White Cross there. And I had my birthday party there back in May 2008 in that little function room there in the middle of the screen. I also had my birthday party there in May 2011. And a great time was had by all. And the White Cross, as you can tell by its name, which I'll just show you the pub sign in a minute, it's a cross in white, which is obviously how the pub got its name, but they changed the pub sign a few years ago. It's now it's now a photo it's now an artist impression of the pub. And you've got the original White Cross pub name there, along with the famous Ram logo of the Young's Brewery chain who owned the pub. Now this area here was originally the site of a former monastery. And that's why the White Cross pub ended up getting its name the White Cross. Now this is Water Lane, so this is the slipway which fills up at high tide. Now there's an interesting story about this slipway because people occasionally park their cars or vans on this slipway and they don't realise that the River Thames at this spot is actually tidal. So they park their cars or vans here and then a couple of hours or so later the car is covered in water because the tide comes in. Now this is Water Lane. So we've got this narrow little lane which comes, goes in towards Richmond Town Centre. We've got one of the old Richmond Urban District Council street signs up there in, in its enamel plate there. That's from the 1900s, still there after all these years. So this view there, that's looking eastwards towards Richmond Town Centre. And we've got the riverside. And there's the southern elevation of the White Cross pub. There it is in all its glory. So that area all the way around there, that was the site of an old monastery. So that's how the name, that's how the pub got the name the White Cross. And it's the only pub in the whole of the UK where there's actually an open fire directly underneath a window and not underneath the chimney. And then over here we've got the slug and lettuce. And we've got Scots of Richmond, which used to be Henry's Wine Bar back in the day, where I had my birthday party back in May 2007. So now we're on the riverside, here's some pigeons by the river. So normally you get all sorts of wild fowl along here, you have ducks, geese, swans, pigeons. <sighs> this is my favourite spot, the riverside as well. So we're now on the riverside. And you've got the famous riverside buildings, which are just coming up to now behind this tree. So that's the famous Richmond riverside buildings got the new tapas restaurant and you've got the picture and piano right by the bridge and you've got the golden sunshine shining on the water and I absolutely love this footpath this part of Richmond rocks my world daddy-o so there's a few of the there's a few of the riverside buildings Part of these are modern buildings like this one, but they've designed them in such a way that they've blended into the original riverside buildings from the 1800s. So what we'll do is we'll keep going along this footpath. We've got these boats and things, which you can actually hire to sail up the River Thames towards a place like Kingston and Hampton Court. We've got this wonderful restaurant here, which has been restored. And this is a lovely place to have a bite to eat or just a nice evening meal out on the riverside. So you've actually got this floating restaurant, which is actually a boat. 
So there's the River Thames there looking northwest towards Isleworth and Brentford. And you've got the White Cross pub just in the middle of the shop there. And you've got a superb view of the Riverside buildings here in Richmond. How's about that then, guys and gals? Richmond, baby, Richmond. My favourite spot in Richmond alongside the green. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up the steps and over Richmond Bridge. Just my ears. So you'll see Richmond Bridge in a minute. So there's Richmond Bridge just hidden away behind these boats. So that's Richmond Bridge there, so that's London's oldest ri uh, river bridge rather. So now we're going to go up these steps, past the picture in Piano Pub. So you'll see the famous picture and piano pub along with its distinctive tower. That's the picture and piano behind the gate there. And there's the famous gate, the famous tower. And we have a pigeon again. Hello, pigeon. Ooh, there's one of the new buses on the 33 there. Off to Barnes. And then at the top end of Bridge Street, which is this street here, we have the Richmond Odeon at the T-junction. So the Richmond Odeon, which was built in the 1930s, classic bit of Art Deco architecture. And now we come to the river, river itself. So we've literally gone up the steps. And we're now about to cross over the river from the former county of Surrey into the former county of Middlesex. So there's the riverside buildings there. And there's the riverside looking northwest. And we'll see a better view when I cross over the bridge. There's a view of the restaurant boat just down here. So what we're going to do, we're going to cross over the river. So we're actually on Richmond Bridge itself, built in 1770, but it was actually widened in 1937 to allow for London's growing use of the motor car. So originally the bridge was a lot narrower than it is now. So in a, in a minute we're coming up to this point in the bridge. So this was the boundary between Surrey and what was Middlesex originally until 1965, when the new London Borough of Richmond was formed. And the London Borough of Richmond is unique as it's the only London borough that straddles both sides of the River Thames. And what we'll do, we'll pan the camera around. We've got Corporation Island here, which is where all these trees are. That's actually habitat for many ducks and geese and swans and stuff. We've got the boats on the river. There's the White Cross pub in the middle. And look at that, there's the riverside and its buildings. The most famous sites in Richmond. And you've got the River Thames just flowing away with all the seagulls on the river. <laughs> so yes, ladies and gents, this is Richmond. Richmond and its beautiful riverside. And you can see why I've fallen in love with this town. It's so, so easy to see why. And obviously here's Richmond Bridge. And then you've got Richmond Hill that goes down that way. So if the River Thames flows down that direction towards Teddington and Kingston. We're looking northeastwards towards Richmond Town Centre itself. And that's the riverside in Richmond. So what we'll do, we'll just go down the hill here onto the Middlesex side of the river. So we're now technically in East Twickenham or St Margaret's, depending if you want to be posh or common. What I love about these benches, you've actually got the year that the bench was manufactured, so 1868. So these benches are still doing exactly what they were doing all those years ago. And yes, Richmond is an amazing place. 
here we are, we've got a better view of the riverside and its buildings now along with the western side of the bridge and the riverside and the White Cross Corporation Island yeah so it's easy to say it's easy to know why I had my birthday parties in Richmond because it's such a special town and in the, in the night time in the evening when all the street lights and fairy lights start to come on it's even more of an enchanting place so that's Richmond Hill that way that takes you towards Richmond Park in Kingston so I hope you enjoyed this little video I'm now going to catch a bus to Hampton Court or Teddington but if I don't see you before I wish you a good Christmas I shall see you anon and I shall say ta for the like